So the night of the fight, you're actually there in the Staples Center. Mm. No crowds at all. Mm. Was that a little bit weird as someone who is used to doing these big championship fights yourself and having the crowds and the energy and everything? Was it weird to just have you know, a couple of crew members around and everything? A hundred percent. It was definitely a weird environment. But if you compare it to how you spar, a lot of fighters in the gym when they spar, they got a you know a few a few spectators around. They got their team. You got your opponent. He got his team. So there's a few quiet eyes and ears on you. Maybe a few voices saying jab, hook, whatever, whatever. So you kind of used to having some people in there. So what I took this as was the environment. I mean, I've never done it before in this type of environment. But what I took it, what I what it felt to me was like a sparring session. Sparring session. Yeah. So you miss out the crowd like telling them to knock them out yeah, and finish yeah, them off yeah, and yeah, the whole gladiator yeah. arena type thing. The energy, yeah. like energy is, energy is real. So like yeah. when, you know, I have been in fights, I remember when I was with Danny Garcia and, and you know what I'm saying, the energy, people just, come on, go, champ, champ, champ. It's all screaming your name, Judah, Judah. And you saw, it's it 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 almost like a wrestler. You're like, yeah, oh, Hogan, like, you know what I'm saying? You almost yeah. start going crazy and you just, you know what I'm saying, start stepping to him and throwing great combinations. So that's what it feels like. Well, the one thing I noticed in that fight is you had a much friendlier Mike Tyson in that ring. Right. This is not the Mike Tyson that was biting off people's ears, saying he wants to punch someone's nose bone through their brain, wants to eat their children. In fact, there was this one, this one part where Tyson hit him after the, the bell a couple of times, what, you know, kind of on accident, and he sort of hugged. Roy a little bit, like, oh, my, my bad. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. and I'm like, mm -hmm. oh, this is not the mm -hmm. the vicious, like, you know, I want to kill the guy in the ring, mm -hmm. Tyson. Did you notice mm -hmm. that as well? Yeah, of course. The mindset that Mike Tyson has today, from what I observe from seeing him, he's at peace with himself. He's at peace. And, and that means a lot. I mean, that means a lot to me as his friend, as his brother, like he's at peace, he's chilling, like he's he's comfortable. He's he just relaxed. He just focused on his obstacles or what he got to do and what he's trying to accomplish, and he's going at it full fledged. I mean, like nothing but positive energy around him. Like he he's a ball of energy. You yeah. know what I mean? A ball of good energy. Well, through the course of the fight, I would say that Mike controlled all the rounds. Mm -hmm. uh, would you agree with me uh, as a professional boxer? Yes. 100%. Okay, so it's not just me as an untrained eye no, seeing no, this. No, no, no. Okay, no. he controlled all the rounds. Right. He was the, you know what I'm saying, he was the dictator. He controlled the fight. He pressed the fight. He kept the pace. He made the, you know what I'm saying, when he turned up, the crowd went crazy. You know what I'm saying? So it was about how Mike Tyson, you know what I'm saying, pressed the press. Roy Jones, taking no credit away from him, like he said, these are, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm really a middleweight, but these are heavyweight shots by the known as the baddest man on the planet. We gotta give Roy some credit, man. Like, like Roy told me, I said, man, every time he put his hands on me, I, I felt it. It was like thunder was going through my body. I said, yeah, I, that's so, so, so big shouts and big props to Roy Jones for that, man. That was phenomenal. Do you feel that Tyson went easy on him by the end? Was kind of holding him up a little bit? No, but if he did. That's okay. They're brothers. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, that match wasn't about kill each other. Like, I'm gonna kill you, mother. You know, no, it wasn't about that. It's about like at our in our 50s, let's get off the couch. Let's go in here and show the world what we can do, who we are. And I think that mission accomplished. They did a great job, both of those guys. 